Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be going through Bitcoin. As you can see, we're still on our pretty decent trade win streak. We haven't taken any trades recently just based on the fact that the market's super uncertain. But let's dive into Bitcoin right here, right now and talk about what is good across the board. All right. So uh, starting with the uh, ETF outflows and inflows, and I mean, it's more outflows, really. We can see here right on the right hand side of your screen, we can see 175 five mil followed by just about under a mil and then uh, 53 mil and 49 mil yesterday so yes um, pretty much four consecutive days of outflows is very very bad for Bitcoin and the price is currently reflecting that lots of uncertainty across the board but there is a silver lining here uh, where we are seeing that electricity consumption index uh, actually turn a lot more positive uh, and, and really building up here over time which is good it means the miners are slowly getting back on board turning those machines back on and mining the bitties okay so yeah that's that's fantastic that's something that's good uh if we go over to the liquidation heat map the reason why we've dumped here today anyway uh, i would say is because we had these massive liquidations appear um in the order book where if the market makers want to just push price down to these levels which we are currently literally just above right uh, then they can make a cool couple hundred mil here by absorbing these and not really make any lower lows along the way so uh, maybe they do just want to grab up this liquidity and continue uh, pumping up or uh, yeah they, they maybe want to take this lower and and really ruin everyone's days right <laughs> so, <coughs> so uh, let's jump into trading view here I don't know if this is working. Here we go. Oh, hello. There we go. Beautiful stuff. So, uh, yeah, just move that across. Here we go. So, yeah, looking at uh, Bitcoin right now, we can see just clearly, as we've talked about previously, we have broken that structure in the bull market. It's not something that's great here. Uh, it's not something that's bullish. All right. This is something that's actually quite bad. We do have the four hour volume weighted ATR band holding us up right now. That's currently at uh, 63.6, that kind of area. This will go down over time if Bitcoin goes down as well. So just be aware of that. But as of right now, this will be our crucial support level that we need to stay above. Besides that, three uh, three day volume weighted ATR band, as we talked about in the last video. If we're above it, very good. Usually we're in a bull market if we're above it, right? Uh, if we are below it, very bad. Usually we're in a bear market if we're below that. You can see here our recent, our, our previous bull market here, right? 2021. As soon as we lost this three day, uh, it was it was a quick pump up and then absolute obliteration for Bitcoin. So uh, that is a level we want to stay above. Okay. And that's currently at 60K. I, I just want to reiterate that again. If we lose 60K, very, very bad. Uh, and it doesn't mean if we go $1 underneath it, you blindly short 100X. No, that's bad. What you want to do instead is probably wait for this low uh, here, which would be 56.4. Okay. I'm not saying blindly blindly do that at 56.4 but what I will say is if we do lose that low at any point it's very very bad for Bitcoin and it's something that uh that could get very messy for a lot of people that are holding. In terms of the broader structure here, we can see this white line, and this is coming in from 16K. We tapped that at 26K, and uh, we haven't tapped it since. So what we need to do here, if we do head down, uh, is tap this at some point, okay? And we do need more than anything this to hold for us to really find a bull market in the next run, right? Uh, in the next big pump up uh, in the next year, I would say, right? Uh, but it's looking more and more likely that we are gonna have a little bit of a crypto winter coming through here so just be careful all right i would expect us to potentially retest this trend line though at some point so uh we'll have to keep an eye on that one because as of right now today we can actually see that it is in line with our descending trend line as well so uh yeah this could be a key area for potentially a short squeeze even if we do head down here right uh i do think today is, is a big warning sign that potentially we could have a, a bit of a short squeeze trap towards the upside to say the least uh, don't get Get me wrong here guys i'm not really bearish okay i'm not not that bearish as long as we're above this four hour we're above this three day i'm actually pretty chill here uh i do think we still are bullish but uh the more the more of these levels that we do lose the worse it is going to get for bitcoin and the macro is just going to look really really bleak okay if we are looking at the bull market barrier you can see that this has just recently turned orange it's not the end of the world but uh if we do look and again just to clarify uh when like if we're above the bull market barrier, it's a bull market. If we're below it, it's a bear market. Okay. Uh, and we can see here that, uh, yeah, in the last run, we barely, we didn't even scratch it. Okay. When we did turn orange, we lost. 
everything, <laughs> right? Uh, so what we can say here is, uh, yeah, that the, the most recent data suggests that we are heading down, okay? But previous data, as you can see here, where we have just walked down in a similar fashion to uh, making this orange, right? And, and kind of challenging this from the upside. Uh, yeah, usually we do get massive pumps after that. So again, I will say once again here, as Bernie Sanders would say, right? <laughs> uh, we can say that, yes, if we do uh, essentially pump from after turning this orange, right, something like this, then what we're going to be looking for for an entry is when we do break any kind of descending trend line like we can see here, right? So if we go to where we are right now, here we go, beautiful stuff, okay, we can see that we do have this descending trend line coming through. I would say this is not that steep, so I would be very careful with this thing. Maybe it is a scenario where we do uh, do something along the lines of this, right, and then we find a better trend line, um, but what we really want is, is more of a, not necessarily a trend line like this, but something a little bit in between, right? A compromise between those, something like this, right? Uh, where, yeah, it's, it's a lot more diagonal and uh, the angle's a little bit more in the middle, right? If we can find something like that, then that'll be great. A lot of people across the board here, a lot of my crypto miner friends, right? Uh, they, they are saying that we do get a potential uh, lower high here coming through and then it's it's really up for debate what happens after that but if we do get a lower high here we're going to be looking for that trend line to break in the future and then entering for a beautiful long position uh, in which we can make copious amounts of cash okay copious amounts that's what I'm talking about. Uh, if at any point we reclaim 72 or 73K, uh, we're back on and we can probably expect 80K very, very quickly. But as of right now, the warning signs are in the air and uh, it is it is a very cautious time if you're a trader. You can see I haven't taken a trade over the past few days, all right? And the reason for that is because of everything I've just said, okay? It's very, very uncertain where Bitcoin's gonna go here. Will the run end or will we continue? I think we continue personally, but I'm not blindly betting on that that's just an opinion the ta suggests that we be cautious here in terms of uh, like investing our money right so when when we have eight years experience like we have uh, and we do see these warning signs our opinion doesn't really matter what we what we're going to do instead is trust the data right and the data is suggesting that uh yeah we do go sideways for a little bit longer maybe another month and then uh, we'll see if we can break out from that point and no one wants to hear that everyone wants to hear the 10x 20x and bang it to 300 mil or whatever, right? Uh, obviously, Bitcoin can't really 20x here, <laughs> but uh, with the altcoin side anyway, right? That's what people were kind of expecting. Uh, what we can say here is, uh, yeah, caution in the wind. We are testing the bull market barrier right now. Last time we tested this, we had a massive pump. So we will see how this does behave today. Uh, I'm not going to be getting in the long if we break this line, but uh, what I will be doing is uh is eyeing up a position if we do get somewhat above 70k all right if we get above 70k it's great you can see we had a little bit of a trap towards the downside here yesterday on the wedge structure we drew and this is on the four hour so again uh the, the higher time frames are going to make more sense here but because we didn't break down really here uh and uh, yeah, we, we do still have potential to go up. Then there might be a little scalp you can get here. I don't know if there's enough of a percentage in this one. So I'm, I'm just gonna, yeah, okay. So you could potentially get a 1% scalp here if we do get above that 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. Um, but as you can see here previously, every time we hit it, we are getting absolutely obliterated, right? This is, this is usually where we kind of pull back to uh, in this downtrend. So just be careful with this one. But uh, what I will say is if we can get above, I would say 66.8, that's gonna be something where we could potentially eye up a 1% trade there. Uh, one thing I will say though is, uh, yeah, if we do head up to this area, what you want to do first, rather than just banging in along, if we get above uh, 60, 66.5, what we want to see first on like a 15 minute, something like this, right, uh, is, uh, if we can get this to load, there we go, beautiful stuff, yeah. yeah. What we want to see here is a high to be made, right, a retest, a break of that high, and then as we break that high, we look for the long entry and we bang it in, okay? That's really how we're going to get the 1% here. Besides that, not really that interested while we're inside this disgusting range here, this descending range. Uh, and again, just watch out for that four hour volume weighted ATR band. This is going to be so key. If we lose this, it's not good at all. And um, we could easily just free fall down to 60K. All right. But with that being said, guys, uh, we can actually, uh, we can probably expect if we do head down here and we lose this four hour, uh, we would also lose the 60 minute and the 15 minute along the way. When we reclaim those bad boys, that's actually the time 
for a monstrous long. Um, and, and not necessarily a bull market long, but a long that we could probably expect 3 to 5% gains on, right? Something like this. Uh, yeah, just coming up and banging it up and, and maybe just take profit at that 15 minute volume weighted today, TR band, wherever it is. But uh, yeah, this could happen over the next few days. So it's not something I'm going to talk about too much, but just a little bit of an edge there, potentially uh, poking its head over the wall that we can grab, right? So we will see. We will see here. But as of right now, just be cautious out here. Uh, we just hit 10 minutes on the video, so I am going to end it. But uh, besides that, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, be sure to check out the Patreon where we do daily TA for you, literally just for you privately uh, on all the trades that I'm looking for. Okay. And yeah. It's something that's really beneficial to pretty much everyone. Everyone loves it, okay, that, that's got that. So, yeah, feel free to check that one out in the description. And besides that, I will see you in the next video. And, and again, if you could like the video, if we could get this video above 10 likes, just you guys are insane. You're, you're amazing, all right? So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. See you in the Telegram. Peace.